Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the Node.js and the Log4.js packaging. Um, in the previous video I'm speaking about how you can create a very basic locking method where you can log out to the terminal and how you can log into the files or how you can split up the in multi-log files if you need so. In this video I will make it a very quick and I will show how you can make the log4.js inside to the Hilda function. And why using the Hilda function to that? Uh, I will say it's because when you have a bigger project you easily can uh, import something uh, multi-time and, and it could be very confusing to do. So my plan here is making a global file so you just need to creating the, the import for a log and then you can just type the logs if you need that and then you can make the global configuration uh, for one file it's worked pretty good for my project so i think it will work for you too so before we are starting i really hope you want to subscribe to this channel by clicking in the below in the in the video corner right corner sorry and uh, if you like it please share and and click on the like button and don't forget if you have any kind of uh, questions please make the comments below i'll try to answer them and all the code will be found on my github profile i'll link below in the description thank you for watching i'm taking the base code from the previous video so this is my my package json and this is my my dev method and then i have the index and i just need to create one more called helper and then I need to create logger.js and inside the logger we need to import and we need to get logger and it's from log4.js and then we are going up and running I will just say const logger whoops logger it's equal to get logger and then we just say export default logger so basically now we can just go and save it and go inside and say uh, import logger from help us logger and then we've got to go to say logger info here test but I don't think that's what working so let's just run a test and you can see it's nothing to do here so it's has been modified but we don't have any logs down here so I'll just say hello world first info log image here and then I just want to save it so let's uh, go inside the log again and create the configuration here so let's uh, use the configuration here and we need to append us and we need categories and inside the category the default and we just say this one append us and level should be on the debug here and then we basically just need to send it out want to say type want it outside the terminal and then I want the app should be type should be should be file and the file name should be app.log and then we sh yeah we don't have any here so we just say app app oh and then we save it again then you can see hello world is the first log message and we have the same log message here so basically now it's working as we expect we have the configuration here and uh, we can just use it very simple here 
the, the next step I will show you it's it's uh, we can just print it out here to say error error log message and debug and one log message. Let's save it, and we have all the log files uh, here, all the messages, so that's fine. To get the point about why you can use this, and this is very smart, it's uh, it's because now we need to make um, a second script here, we'll just call it second. Whoops, not comma. And inside here we just say import logger from helpers logger and inside here I want just to say uh, let's say info access to second TS file and push log message and inside here we want to say uh, const uh, my test is equal to second way to use logger and then I want to export default my test and go back here and import statement whoops uh, my test from seconds here and going down and say logger info just put it and then you can see we basically get the first message here access to the second one and then we push up the hello world because directly when you include this one it will trigger the lock and then we going down below and then we use a second way the, the variable we export from here so in this way you can use the logger um, to lock when you do something inside and it's very useful and I really hope you enjoy this one I will uh, I will do what I can to, to help you so if you have any questions please make comments below and then I will try to, to help you and don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the right corner below in the video and uh, remember all my code will be on the github so you can direct download for free here thank you so much for watching this video and hope to see you next time bye